Hey YouTube, let's talk about flow on the 125 gallon reef build. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, today we're going to go ahead and talk about the uh, Gyre XF250 that I'm going to be using for my wave maker in my uh, 125 gallon reef tank. Um, I think I'll just kind of do a little quick unboxing and show you guys um, what it comes with and what, uh, you know, all that kind of good stuff and then we'll uh, show it to you installed. So there's two boxes here. Um, as you can see, there's a top box, which is the controller unit. And then there is the second box, which is the pump unit, kind of the main unit. Um, one thing that's really cool too is there's a good set of videos out there um, that uh, Coral, what is it, Coral View TV, I think it is, puts out. And this is a card that shows those videos. Um, so. Um, if you're new to the gyre, go ahead and check those out. I'm not going to do a full video showing how it works and everything like that because there's plenty of good videos out there. One of the main difference on the 200 series, though, is this new controller. Um, it's got quite a bit more features. Um, it can control up to two gyres, and um, it's just an all-around better unit. So this is the controller unit. Um, you can see it comes with all the cords, the power supply, and... Uh, uh, the booklet, the instructions, that type of stuff. And then the um, pump unit instructions, two extra turbines, I believe they're called. And then it comes in this kind of tin box, which I thought was a little bit weird, but whatever. Um, here. It's a little hard to put because of the magnet. But here's the unit. And then you've also got the magnet. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed that comes with it and attach us like so. That's on the outside of the aquarium. Obviously, the gyre is on the inside of the aquarium. And uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is we'll go ahead and install this and then I'll show it to you installed in the tank and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so here we are back looking at the tank with the gyre installed. As you can see, I've got it installed on the left side of the tank. It's in the kind of the little corner where the wall and the overflow, corner overflow meet. And it's basically pointing towards the back wall so that the gyre effect will go all the way around the tank and come back through the front and around that way. Um, I wasn't able to install it at the top in a horizontal fashion this way. I had to go with vertical just because there's not enough room bef between the uh, corner overflow and the front wall, front glass of the tank. But this will create a gyre just the same as uh, uh, installing it on the top and so uh, there'll be a nice gyre motion in the tank going around and uh, coming back and that's what uh, is best for the corals. Um, I'll show you down below. Here's where I mounted the controller. It was pretty easy to program after monkeying around with it for a little bit. Um, I've got it set up to several different uh, functions throughout the day. Kind of goes with my um, with my uh, light control as well as far as the different um, the I have it set so the gyre will change about the same time that the lights change, so that'll work out real good. But here's a close-up of the controller. Um, buttons here and here are used for programming. Uh, you got a little readout up there. It's kind of blurry in the camera right now, but really happy with this so far. Um, it's going to be a good addition to this tank. And I just can't wait to see what it's like with corals in the tank and watching watching uh, that move in the in the waves. Um, so anyway, um, that's all I've got for you right now. Um, as I've stated in all these videos, make sure you check out uh, this entire playlist for the tank build. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep updated on all things that I'm doing uh, as far as. Uh, 
this tank, uh, my freshwater cichlids, my shrimp, everything. I like to keep you updated uh, on all that stuff, so stay tuned.